The uh, final step here is just to add some sinew. And this has uh, already been soaking in some water. Just a few wraps around. And normally I would add some uh, some hide glue or some fish glue to that. But time is uh, time's running out here, so and uh, I'll wrap it down about an inch with more sinew. And the last step, well, the last step in this process is just to warm this over the fire. And the, uh, the sinew will shrink. The uh, pitch will soften up a little bit. And it will really grip that arrowhead on there. The only thing left after this is just painting and waterproofing. You can add some more pitch over the whole thing or you can just maybe put some animal fat on it. But it, it shrinks up. And while it's drying I just rub my fingernail along the sinew to flatten it down. Check the tip, make sure it stays in position. And adjust it as I need to, as it's drying. When you dry it close to the fire like that, uh, and keep it warm, you can make subtle adjustments to the arrowhead. It's not going to dry all the way. Just enough to where you can see the sinew is uh, turning a little bit white on the outside. And you can just leave it close to the fire like that. That's it.